This KISD Coaches Show is supported by Coach Henderson Sports Photography, Modern Appliance, Clean Veterinary Clinic, Denali Roofing, Seashells Visuals, and Cloud Real Estate. Welcome to the Josh Sadler Show. We're glad you're joining us, and let's call it the Big Daddy <laughs> Josh Sadler Show for yeah. the second time. Yes, sir. Man, last week, of course, we would have loved to have you on, but I was at Scott and White, and they wouldn't let me in yeah. to interview, so yeah. that's yeah. why we didn't have the show last week for all yeah. the fans that were out there. I got a few calls, what yeah. happened to Josh after right. the show. And, well, good. Uh, so, um, just wanted to let folks know, congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell it's, us tell us about your boy. Well, all I can tell anybody is that, that having kids is a blessing. Absolute blessing, you know, and, and for it to happen during football season is even bigger blessing, because now it's just that... You know, everything's right on top of each other. I don't have any chance to, to look a different way. You know, it, it's football during the day. It's baby during the night. It's the, the other one that's that's upset because he's not getting as much attention. You know, it, it's just it, it all of that stuff that seems like problems are just nothing but blessings. So I'm a blessed man. I, I can't I can't complain one bit. Everybody healthy and happy. Oh, and mama's healthy. Mama's doing well. Baby's healthy, doing well. You know, little Gunner's doing well as well. So I mean, it, it, I I just can't complain. I it, it's I'm elated at the situation that I'm in. Not only do I get a chance to be, you know, the head coach at Clean High School, I get a chance to be a, a second time daddy. You know, I get a chance to be a husband. You know, I get a chance to be, a, you know, a father figure, a role model. You know, it, there's just nothing better in this life. I love the name of your kids too. Yes, sir. Gunner and Maverick. Yeah. They gonna be they gonna be pilots or what? I don't, I don't know. I, you know, I thought I thought you know initially it was like that, that might be some cool football names or baseball names or pitchers yeah, or quarterbacks. Now, now Top Gun done stole it from you. Well, and, and, and I think initially <laughs> I I knew that I wanted to name one of my kids Maverick because I watched Top Gun the original one probably two hundred fifty times. Yeah, and I know every line in the movie, but uh, you know it, it's been a name that I've always liked and I always knew that I wanted to name one of my sons. And uh, we kind of gave up on it on the first son, just thinking, well, let's do something a little different. And then I told my wife whenever we were pregnant again, I said, the second one's going to be named Maverick. And she, of course, she came back, well, what if it's a girl? And I said, it's not going to be a girl. It's going to be a boy, and they're going to name him Maverick. So, uh, you know, good Lord good Lord has a sense of humor, so to speak, and he's kind of on the same plan I am, thank goodness. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm very blessed. Gunner Maverick are two, you know, healthy young men, and, and uh, just, cool. it's fun to go home and, and see him smile. Yeah, it's all worth it, ain't it? Absolutely. Well, let's talk about Granberry. You came home with a smile on your face, more or less, yes, uh, as you got that victory on the road, 40-22 mm-hmm. the final. But yeah. uh, you thought it, you should have beat them by more, or they shouldn't have scored as many? Well, I, you know, I thought we had opportunities to score some more points. I really did. We left some drives out there that uh, I really wish we'd capitalize on. We, our first down efficiency wasn't as good as I wanted it to be, and we were only 33% on third down. Um, you know, we had chances to continue drives that uh, – that we've got to get better at because in, in big ball games, these ball games coming up, uh, especially against Midlo coming up, uh, we've got to do a better job on third down and continue drives and keep our defense off the field. Um, we got a little discombobulated on, on, on defense uh, in, in the fourth quarter, uh, gave, gave up a touchdown we shouldn't have. Um, you know, just, just a lack of focus is what it was. Um, got that corrected, got some stops there late. Um, we just we've just got to do a good job with our kids on the sideline, keeping them focused, keeping keep their eye on the prize, so to speak. Because uh, our kids are playing pretty good defense right now, we just got to make sure they continue to. Yeah, two and zero in district play going into two tonight's a ball game, and of course, uh, I look down the stats. He had a copy of the stats. Coach yeah. Hawkins does a great job. Yes, sir. Gets those stats to me. I'm able to break them down and look at them, and it's really really interesting how you're not at the top in every category. Right. You're right there, right there, right there, right there. Mm -hmm. And I see that and I say team, not individuals. There's not individuals, you know, Mm -hmm. this guy is doing all the work on offense and this guy's doing all the work on defense. Right. That's a team. Yeah. And that's what we preach. You know, we we preach family, we preach team and and you know, defensively especially it's a swarm mentality. It's not a single mentality. You know, we I can't stand to see single tackles and, and double tackles, you know, solo and assist. I can't stand – I want to see, you know, five, six, seven, eight hats of the football. And for the most part, our kids are doing a really good job of that. You know, there's some things we have to clean up and film and get those kids to understand in certain situations they got to hustle a little bit more. Um, and then on the offensive side, you know, watching – you know, we have two really good backs right now. We have, you know, five, six really good receivers right now, and we got a quarterback that can get it to them. And then our five offensive linemen are playing, you know, amazing. And they've got to continue that. We've just got to keep the momentum rolling. 
and build on it every single week. Yeah, just the team mentality is just absolutely. That's just and, and to be your first year, like is yeah. I'm just really impressed. Well, really thank impressed. you. Appreciate that. If that means anything, it means a lot. Yeah. Of course, so. I, I'll take any compliment I can because there's a lot of people up in the stands that don't want to agree with it. So, oh, we got we know about them coaches up there. We yeah, know yeah. about them. I, I hear them now that I'm down on the uh, floor of the stadium. Right. Let's say instead of in my little booth, I've I've gotten to see the other side of Friday night football, right. and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. And everybody's entitled to their opinion, and I I welcome all comers. It's okay. Yeah, right. I love it because, because again, passion is something. Passion for the game, passion for your team is something that you can't replace. And I'll take that kind of passion and those kind of, you know, remarks all day long because I'd rather have that than have the other where people just didn't give a care. You know, if you got people in the stands just, just there to sit and take up a spot and don't care, you know, I don't like that. I want people in the stands that are passionate about their kids or passionate about their team. And right now we've got that in our stands. And if they want to have their opinion and be loud about it, get after it. I love it. I love Making it Making some noise, right? Absolutely. I love it all. Well, Midlothian. Yes, sir. Undefeated in district mm-hmm. play. Tough team, like you said. Ranked team. Mm-hmm. Talent on all, both sides of the ball. Good as a scout. Well, you know, they they run the spread bone offense, which in, in and of itself is hard to stop. You know, because it's a dive quarterback pitch every single time, every single snap. You have to be a very disciplined defense in order to stop them. And to be honest, not many people can. Not many people can. They're you know they're racking up four and five hundred yards a game. Uh, you know they they've got Cedric Benson's nephew that's you know one of their running backs. Their little quarterback, uh, the uh, the Ragel kid, he is doing a great job with his legs and he can throw the ball too. They've got a uh, six foot four wide receiver, uh, the Cer- Cerbera kid. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, he's as good as anybody we're going to face. Mm-hmm. You know, and he's long and rangy, can run. Um, so we, we're going to have our, uh, we're going to work cut out for us on defense. Now, offensively, um, you know, they, they've got some really good linebackers. Uh, their Mike linebackers are really good. We're going to have to get after them up front because they've got a defensive end. Um, uh, that ain't the biggest kid in the world, but he's quick as a cat. And we're going to have to make sure we, we stay locked up with him. And they've got a big nose that weighs about 300 pounds. We're going to try to move. And uh, secondary guys are pretty pretty mobile and pretty good. So, like I say, we've got to work it out. Now, they're the number fifteen team in the state for a reason, you know. And and they're they're undefeated on the year and undefeated in district for a reason. So, you know, we we've got to go up there with a real good game plan. Stay simple, stay fast, and, and just get after their tail and see what happens. You know, at the end of the day, same thing I tell the kids every single day: turn the scoreboard off. Who cares about rankings? Who cares about the scoreboard? Let's go get in a good old fashioned backyard brawl. And see what happens at the end. Play four quarters as hard nosed football as hard as you can. Fly around and just see what happens. You know, you can't worry about all the other fluff. You just got to go out there and hit people in the mouth and see what happens. Well, the way you describe the defense, they kind of stack everything heavy in the middle. Is that going to open up the outsides and maybe some passing lanes across the middle in front of those safeties? Yeah, there's a possibility of it. You know, they like to load the box up, which is good, you know, but, and I think that we can capitalize on it. You know, Rod's going to have to get, have a good game and he's, he's building, you know, you saw that last Friday night. I mean, he's building on that and getting better every week. And, and as long as he continues to progress and we get the ball in the hands of some little speechers on the outside, I think we're going to be okay. Yeah. Um, but I still think we can run the football against these guys. You know, I think our offensive line is getting better every single week, and, and Jacoby and, and DJ are doing a great job inside. And I, I just think we need to keep pounding on it because, again, you know, it takes it takes something away from a defense if they load it up and you're still able to run on them. Yeah. You know, a little bit of that, a little bit of that swag, a little bit of that confidence. Goes demoralization. Away. Absolutely. <laughs> and so, you know, that's what we got to do. We got to go. We got to go up there and, and you know, kind of, you know, announce our intentions and, and get after their tail, and that that's the whole goal. Well, we're going to have to have back out of Raising Canes before the end of the season. Maybe we can bring the kids out. Too. Absolutely. We'd love to. see about that. Get them a Caniac meal. Yeah. Small, yeah, I'd love it. I know I know Gunner would love it. Yeah. Now, the other one quite ain't there yet, but, uh, you know, Gunner would love it. He's a chicken fanatic, so come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we appreciate everything you've done so far here at Colleen High School. You've changed the atmosphere around here. Um, it's a totally different field house to walk into than I did earlier. Nothing against Neil, but... Uh, you got these guys uh, chomping at the bit and proud good. to be Ruse and good. and your booster clubs doing good things. Right. So, so you, you're doing good, buddy. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. We're, we're trying. You get to keep your job another week. Well, another week. That's all that matters. You you take it one day at a time. I don't, I ain't worried about next year. I'm worried about today, and that's it. And then, and that's the mentality we're trying to teach these kids: win this day. 
if we can win today, if we can find a way to execute and win today, then we'll be okay. And because today's the only one we can win. So, All right. Well, good luck to you, buddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.